Hi everyone, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard, and today I thought we would take this Dollar Tree sign, Happy Fall y'all, and give it a gnome over. So the first thing we're going to do is we are peeling off the brim to our scarecrow's hat, and we are going to get rid of that straggly hair that is left over. Now these pieces usually peel off pretty easy. Just be careful with your flat blade when you are taking them off of your signs, um, but everybody knows how much fun these signs are to make over. So the next thing we're grabbing is we have one of the Dollar Tree Hawaiian hula skirts in our stash and we are going to use this for our gnome's beard. So I am just um, pushing the strands a little bit closer together and tying knots in both ends of the twine that is already on there so that the um, the strands stay secure. We're going to put a hefty bead of hot glue on the very back. And the first one we are going to glue down a little bit from where our um, hat brim is. Because I want our beard to be really full, I want it to be layered, and I want it to be a little bit longer. So we're going to do the same thing again with another piece of this hula skirt. Now, you could always use raffia, you could always use rope um, for this, you know, you could use the mop heads from the Dollar Tree. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do with one of these signs. Okay, so now we have our two layers of beard attached to our sign, and I'm just going to flip up the first layer, and I'm going to take and uh, cut this bottom layer in somewhat of a little bit of a V shape to make it look like a beard. And then we are going to do the same thing with the top layer, but we are going to make it a little bit shorter so that the bottom layer does uh, show through. Like I said, I really wanted this to be a thick beard. I'm thinking of hanging this on my front door. So guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to reattach this hat brim. So I am putting a hefty bead of glue right on the top of his beard here, and that's what we are going to attach it to. We're not attaching it directly back to the board because I do think I might wanna slip a few leaves or fall decor um, behind there. But the first thing we're gonna do is I am gonna cover up this sunflower. Now the sunflower is sweet, but the corner of the brim of my hat had a little bit of a bend to it. So I'm just hiding that with one of these leaves from my uh, fall stash. And I'm going to put a little sunflower that I had in my stash right in the middle of my two leaves just to give it a little more depth and definition. Again, use what you have around the house. Now, I think I want to cover up those two fall leaves. They're pretty, but I think I actually just want to add some of my own leaves, change the color a little bit, put these darker leaves on. And again, they're popping off of the sign, so that's giving it some dimension. Yep, even had that in my stash, so you know what? It's yellow, it's pretty, it's fall, we're gonna put it in there. And let's cover that leaf up top with just a little leaf and those pretty fall uh, colored balls. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is now. It is time to add his nose. So I have this wooden bead at home, it is larger. I'm putting a very hefty a bead of hot glue on the bottom of my wood bead and that's what I'm going to use for my nose but you know I tell you guys you could use whatever you want for your noses use pom-poms use other uh, sorts of wood beads use uh, wood discs use buttons whatever you want oh my goodness I'm loving him I'm thinking he's adorable I love how this gnome over turned out I really do hope you guys get the chance to craft one up for yourself thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of gnome and backyards videos